Sample problem 5-4, locate the centroid of the area under the curve. Okay, there's the curve. The curve is given by x equals ky cubed. The x dimension, the length is a and the height is b. And we want to locate the centroid of this, of this area. Okay, this, we want to locate both the x bar and y bar. Okay, so again, what do we do? We use the principle of moments. We say the total area multiplied by x bar. So if we're trying to find that, that length, the total area multiplied by the moment arm to the y axis. So the total first moment of area about the y axis is equal to the sum of uh, the integral or the sum of all the differential areas about the y-axis. That's what we're saying there. Okay? So we're using the principle of moments. Now, let's go through each of these terms. What is A? Well, A is obviously the total area, but you can see that it's pretty difficult. It's not a standard area like a triangle or a rectangle or something. So it's got an irregular nonlinear shape. So we need to also integrate that. Okay? So the area is the integral of y dx. Remember, what in another sense, what is the integral in this sense? It's the area under the curve, right? That's what this integral is. So if we want to find the area under the curve, we integrate y dx. y dx. Okay, are you happy with that? Uh, we will come back to this in a minute. And then equal to, what is xc? xc is the moment arm for the centroid of the differential element. So it goes from the y-axis to the, the centroid of this element. You can argue and say, but hold on, that just goes there. It shouldn't it go to the, the black dot, which is the centroid. It's true, but because this, this element is, is a differential element, right? It's infinitesimally thin. We can just say that the centroid of this element is x. Okay? And so we replace, um, so anyway, the centroid is x. So we've got xc, okay, which is simply x. Okay, do you see that? xc is then x. And what is dA? dA is the area of the differential element. So it is height, which is y times width, which is dx. So you're going to replace the dA with y dx. Okay, so now we've replaced it. We've done like a first replacement, substitution. But as you can see, these integrals are both in with respect to dx. So we are going to take this element and move it from left to right in the x direction. Okay, we start over there and we, and we integrate all the way from left to right. We're summing up all these differential elements, the moments of these differ differential elements from left to right. So it would be a lot easier if we had this y and that y in terms of x. But we are given x in terms of y. Right? We're given x in terms of y. So we can rewrite this guy like this where is it there y in terms of x so we take this y but now it's x over k to the to the power of a third and we put this in to there and into there into that y there okay now you've got x or over here you've got 
you've got this in in terms of x, x over k to the to the power of a third dx. So everything is in terms of x, and we're integrating between zero and a. Between zero, we're going from left all the way to to the maximum a, uh, the maximum x, which is a. And similarly for this one, we are going to say x over k to the power of a third multiplied by x. So you multiply that out and then we integrate between 0 and a. Okay, and then they also give you, this is a given, k, that constant there is a divided by b cubed. Right? And then we solve it. Carry out the integral and we solve it and we get this. x bar is 4 over 7a. So whatever a is, if it's 1, if it's 10, if it's a million, then x bar, based on this equation there, is 4 over 7 times that length. Now what about the height? y bar. Again, we use the principle of moments, the total area multiplied by its moment arm about the x-axis, y, that's y bar, is the integral of, we use the same differential element, it's the integral of the this area multiplied by its moment arm. The moment arm always goes from the axis to the centroid of that element, which is in this case y over 2. Does that make sense? So the centroid of this element is going to simply be the centroid of a rectangle. So it is half the, the total height, half the total height. Y, it's y over 2. So we take that, this yc is then simply y over 2, y over 2. And dA, again, dA is what? It's the, it's the differential area. So it's height y times dx, y dx. And again, well, we first of all, we've already calculated the total area there. We calculated that. 3ab over 4 times y bar and then y we wanted we want these y's in terms of x again so we know that y is uh, is equal to this b times x over a to the to the power of a third okay which we get by just substituting a over b to the third into the, that k over there right so we got y now in terms of x, b, the b and a is a constant, but x is a variable. We substitute it into there, into there, and we integrate again. Okay, and we get y is 5 over 2 times b. Okay, so please get the big picture. First, determine a differential element, right? Determine it's the centroid in both the x and the y directions look at the equations that govern this line and use the principle of moments now i'm not going to go into this but you can do this on your own you don't only have to take a vertical strip like this and then integrate push the strip all the way from left to right you can also take a horizontal strip okay and then what you do you do exactly the same thing. Get the horizontal strip, determine um, the x, the centroid, the x centroid of that uh, differential element, determine the y centroid, use principle of moments for the x bar and the y bar. Okay? And you should get although they don't show it here. Um, maybe they do in the next page. I don't know. No, they don't. But you should get exactly the same X bar and Y bar. So all they've done here is they haven't actually uh, calculated anything. They've just shown you how to set up your equations. Okay, guys, so you can do both a vertical uh, differential element or a horizontal.